I started my career as an aviation reporter in the last century, 1986 to be precise. Imagine a world where no one was talking about climate change, and aviation appeared to be on an uncomplicated exponential growth path. The digital era had barely dawned, and the thought of pilots filing flight plans on iPads would have seemed seriously out there. Around five years ago, for AIN's Future Flight platform, I started covering what people now call the advanced air mobility sector, telling the story of how new technologies such as electric propulsion and flight automation are forging a new future for aviation. When I tell people what I do, the typical response is something like, oh, you're into that flying car stuff, are you? Do you really believe that will happen, George Jetson? Well, yes, you could call the new electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or EVATOLs, flying cars. And I get why some of you don't take that very seriously. But the truth is there's much, much more to all this. And the technological wave now crashing against the shores of the wider aviation ecosystem now includes the air transport and defense sectors. It's fun telling people about how they might be whizzing around their crowded city in a four-seat, all-electric flying machine that may not even have a pilot on board someday. But to be honest, I get much more fired up about news such as Airbus's commitment to get a hydrogen-powered airline into service around 2035 that could carry 200 or so people 2,000 miles across a continent with zero carbon emissions. Engine makers like GE, Safran, Rolls-Royce and Pratt & Whitney are committing massive resources to achieve a quantum leap in propulsion technology. It's potentially the biggest advance since the jet age. But it's not before time. Aviation's damage to the climate, and some might say compromised business models, mean it faces an existential challenge to reinvent itself. In Europe, at least, some would say that the political momentum is turning against the industry, putting it on notice that its days could be numbered. And especially private aviation, with its elitist reputation at a time when the wealth gap, to some, appears to be getting bigger. But now we're seeing mainstream aircraft operators and airlines buying into the new technology, with plans to operate electric and hybrid electric aircraft on scheduled services that could open up new regional routes that are just not viable today. These include United Airlines, American, Virgin Atlantic, and Japan Airlines. And in the private aviation sector, helicopter operators like Bristow and fractional ownership giant NetJets are making plans in the same direction. So from being something of a fringe activity that some have laughed at, Advanced Air Mobility's day may be coming soon. And there's no denying that the Future Flight community has gone well and truly mainstream. That's why the Future Flight site has now been integrated with the main AIN news site. In a dedicated channel, you'll find all the news and information you need to stay on top of these seismic changes. Aviation is changing for the better, and at an extraordinary pace, this is the most exciting time to be an aviation reporter that I've ever known. So stay close to the AIN News team as we tell you the story of the future of flight.